What's going on guys? This is Carl with the Racer Red Channel. I was listening to the JRE today and he was talking to a, a, a journalist and they got on the topic of how people will just by their nature believe the craziest illogical things to gain status or to basically gain a good community. People fall victim to people, other people who have made these crazy communities that are really supportive and create like this structure of people around them and events and in every aspect of our being will believe crazy stuff in order to do that because it's by our nature. We don't only want to be involved in the thing, we want status within it. In, in order to do that, we have to be, you know, good at the dance that is the thing. Whether that's riding motorcycles or whatever, you know, all of us are guilty of it. I just thought it was an interesting episode. There are some interesting ideas that float around our planet. But the ones that catch on the most are the ones that create a community and within that community create status. And man, there are people who have been able to profit off of that idea. It's crazy, you know, no matter how illogical it is. But in the end, I think as long as people are good to each other, that's what matters. And it doesn't matter what religion you are or what culture you're from. That's my, that's my deal. If you're, if you're a good person, you're a good person. I don't care where you're from or what you do. Basically do anything. Just don't do anything against other people. Do what you want. That's what I say. But I, uh, I do get in a little trouble. I do, I do just kind of get myself in a tight spot because I do have opinions on a lot of uh, very popular religions that aren't great for those religions. <laughs> Which is fine. I still like the people within, within those. I just don't understand why people get so mad. You can challenge any of my beliefs. I don't care. I don't. I really don't. You could challenge anything that I say or it's not going to shake the structure that I stand on. When I, even when I talk to my atheist friends, like, they've told me before that it's weird talking to me because I don't, I'm willing to accept both sides and, and uh, when they say, well, how did this happen? Why would this take place? If the Bible were true, I'm like, yeah, I don't know. That's weird. But, however, I do think that uh, it's more defensible than the thought that we appeared out of nowhere and, you know, into the vacuum of space and life was created. I don't, I don't believe that one. I, I could probably defend uh, the uh, intelligent design better than I could defend the, uh, I don't know what the theory would, well, the Big Bang, I guess. Interesting topic for sure, and one that tends to get people riled up. I, I, uh, I'm gonna make it a point to look into different belief structures. I can certainly say that God is love, and that's, that's what I get from it. But, uh, you know, in the past, I've always said, you know, as I learn about certain people, especially as I go deeper into certain religions, I, I find that the founder was actually just trying to hook up with everybody else's wife. I mean, and then made rules for it and people bought it. I don't understand how that took place and it became a religion, but it did. Uh, he was cheating on his wife with the with the teenage helper. She caught him in the barn, I guess. And then he 
not only with her but with others he wanted some of the other wives to join him and voila he had a whole bunch of people i mean the guy was a genius i guess i don't know i can't hate his hustle of course they structured that one to not let you out like once you get in and that one also talks about creating your own planets and becoming god as god create you basically become a god which reading the bible the bible says right in it that's how satan usually tries to get to people is to say that they'll be as god so that's a red flag for sure and in the one that I'm talking about so like I've I have researched a lot about this stuff but maybe not enough yeah there are some weird freaky deaky things going on um, when I try to research it and religions can be super weird and I think that that one that I'm talking about where the dude did all that created all these weird rules that one's super popular and I think I can pinpoint exactly why it's so popular and that is the uh, community it's created it, uh, basically has created a community they support each other like in a crazy way which is really nice to be around nice community that is designed to make you want to stay in there and uh, if you find that you're a better person because of that then I like it but uh, the the ideas behind it I don't like and one of the ideas behind it is that you can't do a special place within that within that uh, religion unless you pay 10% of your income right off the top um, that somehow makes you unworthy and that's that's insane dude it, that is clearly another red flag if you uh, read the bible that's another thing that Jesus was against try not to bash that one specifically that's why I'm not even saying what it is but you guys can probably I guess just by the info I've given you here I I don't mind that uh, it doesn't make any sense to me it doesn't speak to my logic and I don't mind that other people believe it at all I don't mind that at all it's just the people at the top of that are driving are flying private jets and they're making billions and they uh, take penalties from the government each year because they won't they won't say where the money's going. It, all things point to gigantic corruption at the very top, but at the bottom, there's a bunch of, you know, pretty nice people. So there's that. I think it's very interesting to learn about, at the very least. And I, it's, I don't understand the tendency to stop, you know, treating people the same that you were just because they don't believe what you believe maybe this is a crappy video I'm making right now but I'm just in uh, real time exploring the concept of different religions and uh, what it takes to be inside of one of them and uh, I'll tell you right now to be inside of the Christian religion takes nothing you don't have to donate to anybody you show up to church there's a really cool group of people at church nobody's in charge the uh, pastor um, talks about what's in the Bible and then he may relate that to your life and uh, that's it there's no other structure to that it's not intimidating it's not this money pit um, it's, it's there's no membership type thing required there's no rituals that you have to do I think that's a, a great one to be in personally <laughs> however when there's a membership required or a membership type thing and it creates that community 
man, that's a... Uh, people see that. And even if they realize one day that it's complete garbage, to, to stop what they're doing and go the other way would be the same thing as learning that they were a drug dealer. They'd have to come out to their parents and, and like go a different direction and their parents would treat them basically the same as if they were a drug dealer. And uh, that's no joke. That's 100% real. There's a real community. I'm not just talking about hanging out with a different group. If you went and started fundamentally believing something different, boy, people would freak out. But again, I know that I have a pretty good audience. You guys are uh, probably tired of me talking nonsense about nonsense, but I just need to reiterate here. If you're an atheist and you're cool, I think you're cool. I put you at a high level as a human being. If you're a Mormon and you're cool, then you're cool. I put you at a, at a very high level as a human being. No higher than the atheist. But regardless, at a high level. Christian, the same way. Muslim, the same way. Uh, Scientologist, the same way. Uh, lots of other ones. Some of them didn't catch on. Oh, of course, there is the uh, Buddhist. Yeah, same way with the Buddhists. It's really not a belief. Buddhism isn't a religion, really, as, as much as... It's, it's more like a lifestyle, more than a religion. They don't tell you to believe anything. They just tell you to believe what you want. Basically, treat people well. Which is a, a really good thing to do. So, I mean, if you're Buddhist and you live by those tenets, then that's definitely good for you. One that makes sense to me personally is only the Christian one so far. And anything that adds a Bible to the Christian Bible is no longer Christian in my in my personal belief. That doesn't mean that's everybody. But uh, as I get older and I look at things logically, I definitely go back. I go back to the things that Calvary Chapel talked about. And man, I think I was in the right place to begin with. That seems that way to me at least. But like I said, this year I would like to read probably the Bible all the way through. I want to read the Book of Mormon all the way through, the Quran all the way through, and try to get a, an understanding of what the uh, Buddhists fully believe. I think that'd be a pretty cool thing to do, and hey, maybe maybe it'll turn me atheist. Who knows? But I'm definitely not an atheist. I believe in intelligent design. I believe in the higher power, and I believe that the higher power is love. Those are my core beliefs. You could be part of any of those other religions, and as long as you treat people with love, and that's your that's your core, then. You're going to the same place I'm going to, that's for sure. But if you take on a self-righteous mindset, I think that's one of the nastiest mindsets, to be honest. The self-righteous one is one of the, I think, one of the most evil mindsets there is. The perception could be that I'm being judgmental about others' beliefs, but I don't think I am. I think I'm just talking about it. Just talking about it as I understand it. Yeah, I really want to hear from you guys. Maybe somebody can explain what they believe and why they believe it. That's that'd be a pretty cool way to get you guys get your guys' opinions. Uh, I think a, I have a feeling that a lot of you are going to say, "Well, I don't even bother with it. I just do my own thing. Um, I don't do the whole God thing, and that's fine too. I don't." I don't mind, but it'd be cool to hear from you as to why why that's your belief, too. Yeah, we should be able to freely and openly explore other ideas without 
this negativity surrounding it without this this feeling that you're not supposed to be doing that or talking about these different religions in a certain way. I mean, religion's a tough one. Really tough. Because people love, literally love their religions. And they don't want to hear anything outside of the religion. They live in an echo chamber. And, like, some of them are really not nice to you if you're countering their religion at all. They don't want to hear it. Because they love their little community of people. They love it. And that's understandable. Totally understandable. But uh, I've been the opposite of that. Especially in recent years. Looking at information from all sides for, for a while now. And I don't mind if my core beliefs are challenged at all. Somebody said, no, God's not love. God is an alien who dropped us off. Well, you could make me, you could have me believing that if you could give me a good enough argument. But right now, I definitely don't believe that. Man, it's, it's hard to talk about religion because people, just people, you're, you're outside. You're an outsider if you're not part of their group. And they will say that you're um, persecuting them if you disagree with them. You'll never learn any, any other way if you are that way. It's my view. But, uh, yeah, in my life, I look at the people around me and that's... It'd be an awfully brave thing to do. I have... I've seen a couple people leave these different reli religions. I think it's a brave thing to do. Because they just... Their whole family... Uh, is... It changes everything. I mean, it's... Such a crazy hard thing to do. But... I... Hats off to the people who have done it. Because that's brave. Hats off to anybody who... Has the strength to to say, hey, this one makes more sense to me, I'm gonna go over here and have have the mindset of just being um, open and honest about what it is. Anyways, guys, thanks for listening to me ramble about nothing. Hopefully I didn't make anybody real mad. Catch you on the next video. Peace. All right, guys, I just wanted to give some of my Patreon supporters a shout out. I really appreciate them. Yucky Don't Eat is my newest one. Daniel Rausch, Brian Thomason, Mike Slater, Jason Froling, Jim Jolson Jr., Lance Darnell, Wade James, Kurt Kinghorn, Jared Bauer. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. You guys have helped a huge amount for my channel to grow and to keep making content, and you are appreciated.